Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Pokemon Sun Nuzlocke. Today, we will be continuing on to the next challenge in our Island Trial, which is, I believe, Route 5's not in well. It's right up here. Something to do with grass types, that's all I know. But we are passing through the trial gates now. We gotta go over our team really quickly. We have our starter, Joker, level 27 Brion. Uh, Beastie, our Alolan Diglett. Chubbs, our Hariyama. Pink 182, the Carbink. Bouncy, the... What is this thing even called? Um, Steeny. I don't know. I don't know. And Rebel, our little Fletchender. Rebel being the newest addition to the team, since I figured out that we have to do this, um challenge thing. What's that say? Lost Jungle, a treasure trove of nature's gifts. Provided that the challenge doesn't begin as soon as I enter, this is a new area where I can catch something. Looks like it's going to begin immediately, though. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to Lost Jungle, the trial grounds for me, Mallow. I knew it the first time I saw you and your team. You've chosen only the finest ingredients. That's why I'm going to make you help me, er... That's why you should try my trial. You are the one who got a sparkling stone straight from Tapu Koko, aren't you? You're so totally ready for this. Ah, uh, the breath of the jungle. I can j I can tell just what today's special should be. Oh yes, and what is that? Yep, it's gonna be my personal my personal specialty, the Mallow Special. I'm gonna need you to find four ingredients for me. I'll need a mago berry, a tiny mushroom, a revival herb, and a miracle seed. Here you go, I brought you a forage bag to hold all the ingredients gathered. Alright, I have some of those things already, I think. If you put the trial ingredients in your own bag... Oh, okay. Oh no. B button to use that one. Search, okay. Okay, um... I'm gonna have to figure out how to use that one. Okay. Well, let's just start looking around. Nope, nothing over here. Nope, there's something around here somewhere. Okay. So apparently, you have to get closer before it'll activate. A tiny mushroom. Something's going to attack. The big mushroom attack, that's funny. It's, oh, it's a parasect. Okay. Hmm. That's not a good matchup. I'm actually going to switch out into my uh, Fletchender. And then proceed to switch the Fleshender into the first spot in the party after this, because I have a feeling that Rebel will get a lot of good training in here. Flame Charge would have been better, but this works too. There we go. Cool. That was a lot of experience. I'm okay with this. I'm definitely switching Rebel to the front spot of the party. Hey, it's me, Mango. Oh, a tiny mushroom? That's great. There's a secret to why they're so popular with some people. You'll have to try one to find out what it is. Yes, I know, there's still three ingredients. I'll put Rebel in front. Rebel has acrobatics, so that's why I don't have an item on her. Oh, I need that one again. Oh? Oops. Um, so apparently there's multiple areas in here, so I'm just gonna try to clear this first area. There's something around here. So apparently it's whenever you turn in the right direction, I guess? Ah, over here. That is not what I wanted. 
Okay, well I see there's four areas, so I guess... I'm gonna go in here on last, because I assume this is where the... Totem Pokemon will be. Let's head over here. Ooh, there's a TM back there. I'm not sure how I get to it. All right. Aha! I also I see a rustling bush over there, so we'll have to check that out. X special attack. It's once again not an ingredient. Oh, it's a tree that's rustling. Yeah, of course something was going to jump out of that. No big surprise there. Oh, a Fomantis. That's cute. I already have one of those. And besides, I can't catch anything until I'm done in here. Got him. This will be good training for the uh, Fleshinger. The stat allocation is actually even. I remember, I think it's modest, which is really bad. Is there not something in here? Yeah, there is. Do I have to use that one first? Ah, there we go. I wasn't looking in the right spot. Yes, hello, Mallow. Hey, it's me, Mallow. Congrats on finding that Mago Berry. The bigger and more twisted a Mago Berry, the sweeter it will taste. Thank you, Mango. I want that item. I'll figure out how to get it later. But it appears I was right, and there's one item or one ingredient in each area. Makes sense. All right, let's go and look this way. Okay. Whatever. Right, let's jump on the dog. Alright, gotta switch over to the Tauros, it seems. Let's clear out all the rocks. Oh, whoops. Too far. Are the rocks going to come back? Yeah, they do. Alright. Back to stop launch. Ah, it's over here. Eh, that's not an ingredient. Hmm. I'm not sure how to get past those rocks. Miracle Seed. Nice. Hey, it's me, Mango. That's a great Miracle Seed. Miracle Seeds are bursting with nutrition. They really are a miraculous gift from the jungle. Neat. Alright. Ah, item. A big root. I don't think I have anyone that has an absorbing move. Not anymore. Big Root gain, uh, increases the healthy effect from that kind of move. Super Potion, nice. Okay. Um, let's jump on the Stoutland. Ah, there's something over here. Where is it? Sure. Wait, what? So the revival herb is somewhere in the patches of grass. And the Fomantis aren't too happy about it. There we go. Unfortunately, Rebel doesn't have Gale Wings, which is the good talent flame ability, because that's the hidden ability. Let's 
Let's see. Where's the revival herbs? There's a patch. Maybe that's what that one saw. Was it? Yeah, it was. Well, there's something here that's suspicious. Did I actually get the revival herb this time? I actually did. Cool. This is probably another Fermentus. Oh, I just realized that Trial would be an awful place to run into a shiny, because you can't catch it. Alright. Oh, hey, Bing Club, what up? And Chubbs. Neat. Yes, we know, Mallow. Are you going to force me back? Okay, no, good. There's still things to find back in here. Something here? Okay, so that's just another fake revival herb. I see. Fermentus is pretty cute. Although I do like Bouncy better. Nice. Nothing to it. I'm mostly trying to find how I can get to that item I saw. Mm, doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. Actually, what's over here? Haha! -ha! That's how I got to the TM. What is it? Something good. Grass Snot. That's not bad. Um, I don't have anyone on the team right now that really wants to learn that, though. I'm sure my... Whatever that thing is called. Steeny can learn it, but... Uh, I think it's a physical attacker. Yeah, because it's adamant. Because I traded an adamant and I pop. All right. Hey, Arcane. Great. Now that we've got all the ingredients, we just need... Sorry to keep you waiting. How are you, Mallow? Oh, the other two uh, trial captains. Oh, I get it. It's fire, grass, and water. <laughs> I've brought a thick club and a rare bone. And I brought you some fresh water and the usual rocky helmet. All right. So they're going to cook something and lure out the totem Pokemon. Mago Berry, Tiny Mushroom, Revival Herb, Miracle Seed. That's what we have. Alright, so apparently it'll draw the totem Pokemon out. Cool. <laughs> okay, Lana, flip that rocky helmet over and let's pour that fresh water into it. There you are. Then in go the stuff I got. Kiwi, let us... Kiawe, let us use the thick club and that rare bone for a minute. There you are. Alright, grab the thick club and the rare bone and pound it all to a pulp. Oh my gosh, we actually have to pound it. That's really funny. <laughs> Crush it! Hitting the buttons or making it do that. Grind it! Turn it to goo! I don't think... Oh, okay. A unique aroma begins to waft around the area. You feel a piercing gaze from somewhere within the underbush. Oh boy. Judging by their faces, there's something big behind me. What is that? Oh, it's not as big as I thought. Moran! Morantis, the totem Pokemon of Lush Jungle has appeared. Okay, let's get it going. It looks a little bit like Fomantis, so I'm guessing it's the evolved form. Oh, it got a speed increase with its aura. That's okay. So it's pr it's definitely grass type. It's probably also bug type, which means acrobatics should just wreck it. 
Solar Blade, what? It absorbed light. And it has a power herb. Of course. That's really cool. It did nothing, but it's really cool. Oh, I burned it. Get wrecked. Judging by that damage, it's probably only a grass type. It's calling in help. Fomantis? Ooh, I cast for. Oh, I see what it's doing. Well, I can play that game. The cast form is going to set up Sunny Day so that Laurentis can s shoot off his solar blades. Because I assume that works like. Ha! Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! I was right. Because it has synthesis as well. Because I'm guessing Solar Blade works like Solar Beam. Alright, now my speed rose. Yep, there it is. There's the sunny day. You fool. You've powered up my... Rock? Or not rock. My... Fire type moves. I'm actually really happy I burned the Lorantis. Hit up with that flame charge. Has X scissor? Okay. Nothing. I'm really glad I brought Rebel on the team for this. Uh, I would have had a lot of problems otherwise. That moment when Cast Form's actually doing more damage than the Lorantis is. I'm actually... I'm gonna Flame Charge again. Okay. Alright, synthesis from you. It's gonna get a lot of health back because we're in the sun. Okay, that cast form's actually an issue. Never thought I'd have to say that. Well, heal up Rebel. And then, I think I'm going to focus down that cast form. Because it's actually causing issues. Alright, this is just going to synthesis again. It only has five, and that's three used already. Okay, that cast form has got to go. Actually, no, acrobatics will do more because fire resists fire. Alright, one more of those should do it. Like, why is Cast Form the mysterious part of this trial? We're gonna Acrobatics again onto the Cast Form. That should kill it. Lorentis well, looks really cool, on a side note. I really like it. Haha, -ha, and now we've leveled up, and we'll probably be able to kill the Lorentis even faster. Just keeps using X Scissor. It does some literally 3 damage. He's calling for help, please not out of cast form. Oh, it's a Trumbeak this time. Hmm. That's interesting. I'm gonna Acrobatics the Lorantis again. Nice. No, it has Rock Blast! Why does the... have... the... why? Oh, I had this in the bag, too. Um. 
Um, I don't know what to do. I really, I have no idea. I guess Chubbs and hope it can live a flying move from that uh, Trumbeak. Because what I, what covers one thing loses to the other thing. We're gonna have to help. We're gonna have to hope Fake Out plus Burn kills Lorantis. And then I deal with the Trumbeak some other way. Okay, Supersonic. Uh, I just spent a lot of time training up that Fleshinger too. Well, there goes any flying types I had. Again. Uh, we're just gonna blow back this Trumbeak. I don't want to have to mess with it not killing. Because, yeah, you're gonna Synthesis. Luck, don't kill. That won't kill. Don't hit yourself. Don't hit yourself. Ugh. Norantis has one Synthesis left. Why is this so annoying? This stupid Trumbeak. Had to have Rock Blast. If they double into uh, Chubbs, he dies. Gotta heal him. Oh good. Alright, that's the last synthesis. Okay, so now I can just, I can blow back the Trumbeak and see what happens after that. Oh good, I went for Solar Blade. Alright, that's a two-turn move. I don't have anything that wants to take that move, though. Rebel was my best bet and she's dead. Oh, thank you. I was worried he wasn't going to break through that. Well, the Trumbeak is gone. Because we all know what a uh, fighting type Z move does to a Shrumbeak. Realistically, another move would have probably done that, but it's for tradition at this point. Okay. So I think, honestly, Joker wants to learn Sing, huh? Um, I don't know. It's not that good. It has a shaky accuracy, so I'm not going to let it learn it. Keep old moves. So Laurentis is burnt, so I have to take that into account. I'm going to... I'm just going to heal Chubbs and hope that the Solar Boy doesn't do that much. Let's see. Oh, we're fine. And it's out of synthesis. Synthesis? Synthesis? I don't know. Whatever. Alright, well, this is basically done. Why does Trumbeak have Rock Blast? Like, seriously, though. It just destroyed my Fletchender. Uh, Alright, Solar Blade. Yeah, we know. I should probably heal. I don't have anything super effective to hit this thing with. Alright, I don't have any good healing items left. <sighs> Nothing good there. 
Joker doesn't have anything. I don't know if this thing's part bug or not. I don't think so if Rebel didn't just murder it with the acro acrobatics. Bink won't do. Bink will be getting hit super effectively, that's the issue. Beastie is neutral, but he's so... he's not very bulky. We'll just Hyper Potion. Hope for the best. Yeah, it keeps using Solar Blade. I wonder how many of it it has. If it has five, then I think I'm fine. I'm just gonna Brick Break. That don't let me know if it's a bug type. That's a cool animation. Does burn count at this turn? No. It just used Solar Blade. Um, we're gonna go into Beastie. And we're gonna Sucker Punch. Yep, Songer Boy, Absorb Sight. Like Clockwork. Oh, Burn kills it. Doesn't even matter. Didn't even think of that. Well, DC gets a bunch of experience, I guess. That's something. Guess we have to update that now. I'm a little upset. I spent all that time training the Fletchender and it just dies. Wow, Arcane, you're strong, huh? You were really able to draw out the flavor of your Pokemon in that battle. The totem Pokemon bowed right down to you. Yes, even back at Wheeler Volcano Park, my vaunted Salazzle didn't stand a chance. Nor did my wishy-washy that I had trained so carefully. Alright, you've cleared all three of Akala's trials. You even managed to get through my trial, and I'd say it's a real doozy. Here, a gift for such an inspiring young trainer. Is it the grass thing? It's the grass thing. We got the fire water grass ones. Cool. Um, I can use that on Bouncy, potentially, if I have a good move for it. Let me show you how to use a grass type Z moves. You should go like grass. Okay. I'm pretty sure she ate some interesting herbs that she found in this forest and she's completely out of it. Since you've cleared my trial, Arcane, I want you to help me train some Pokemon from here in West Jungle. Here, have some nest balls. Okay. Hmm? Looks like Laurentis didn't finish all the food. Oh, I really want you guys to try some. Have a bite, Kiawe. You too, Lana. If you insist. <laughs> Licks it. It's either going to be really good or really bad. It's really bad. Oh, it's really spicy. That's funny. What? What's wrong with you guys? Don't you have any taste? Are you headed off to Olivia's for the Grand Trial? That is what is next on my list of things I need to do. Oh look! It's uh... It's Professor Kukwai, and totally not that guy we saw at the Battle Royal tent. Ooh, what's that s sweet smell I smell drifting my way? Could it be a tasty Mallow special? I heard you cleared Mallow's trial, yeah? Alright, then I have a present for you. This little TM right there is Smart Strike, a move that will never miss. Cool. That's a steel type move. There'll be all kinds of discoveries and new experiences to make your adventure brighter. There's a facility, yeah, they want you to go check out on your island challenge. The Dimensional Research Lab. Let's get over there with extreme speed. Oh, do I have to go now? I want to catch something. Hey there, Arcane. Guess I could, should congratulate you on clearing all three of Akala Island's trials. 
Congrats! Looks like it's time for you to take on Kahuna on Livia's Grand Trial. Olivia is an expert user of Rock-type Pokémon. You're going to want to catch some Grass-type Pokémon in Lush Jungle to add to your team. Alright. Well, if we're going to a Rock-type place, maybe it's the best that Rebel, uh, Rebel died here. I'm going to, um... No, I'm going to go... I'm going to go bury my dead first. So there's a Wimpod over there. I want to catch it, but I can't because I already caught something on Route 8. But, yeah, whatever. For anyone watching who's interested, if you want to catch it, so that what you have to do, because if you go over there, it'll run. So you have to go over here and surf. Then surf across that island that the little pointer is pointing at on the bottom screen, walk over, and land over here, and then chase it around. You know what? I'll just do it. I'm not going to catch it, I'm just going to kill it, but I'll show you. So you get on the ride Pokemon, you go over around this way. Jump on here. And... Voila! So it goes and hides in this hole, so if we spook it that way... Aha! There we go! We got ourselves a Wimpod. Of course, we're not catching it. But we can <clears throat> dispose of it. I think these are bug water types, so we're just gonna rock tomb it. And like that, it's gone. So that's how you get a Wimpod. If that was a thing you wanted. Oh, dropped an item. A big pearl. Very nice. Now, off to send Rebelle off to the family farm. She held her own for a little bit. That was short lived, though. And it seems that the rest have actually gone to the family farm. We'll see them again one day, probably, when we go to visit the others who were sent there. See you later, Rebel. Alright, which of them gets to join us now? We're going up against rock types next. Um, Squart might be an option. Fred. Not Turd Nugget. I don't think Chomp would be very good. Um, my team's already really weak to water and grass, so I don't really want Sarah Jessica Parker. Stubs, I guess? Mm. Or, let's just wait for our new friend who we're gonna catch in the forest. I like that plan. Let's see what we're gonna get in the lush jungle. Also, I can finish clearing out the trainers on Route 5, which was sort of a little side quest type thing that someone had given me. Because there's this whole upper half that I haven't touched yet. Alright. So I know you can find Fomantis in here, but I've already caught one of those. Oh! Right away! What do we got? Mmm. -hmm. Why? Why? <sighs> now to be fair, I did say I was not going to catch a Caterpie. I did not say I was not going to catch a Metapod. I will catch it, only to get rid of it. You know, I'm never gonna update the little HUD for the team for this thing. Because it's not staying. It goes in my party, but it's not staying.
Is there like a hydraulic press or something I can put this thing in? Not like its name matters, because that's what it's gonna be. Permaboxed. Yay. We're just gonna go throw that in the trash. But, I'll do that later. I think, for now, I can take care of that, and that will be the end of today's playthrough. Or, rather, not today's. There might be a second episode today, but that's the end of this part of the playthrough, at least. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, comment if you have any suggestions, and subscribe if you don't want to miss the rest of the series. See you all later. Bye!